It's Kelly. You have come here to the Kellen and Kevin vlog. Welcome to my sanctum. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm here with uh, the Masked Crusader over here on Kellen Rack, and we've got a fun episode for you today. We sure enough do. What's going on, everybody? Kellen and Kevin here. Hello. And today we're gonna have a little conversation that we want you to listen in, join us in. What are we talking about, Kev? Well, Kellen, we're talking about the thing we know best. We're talking TikTok. So today we're gonna talk about TikTok and we're gonna walk you through some of the tips and things we've learned um, in our year, about y a year exactly now, wow. of uploading to TikTok. One a day. That's crazy. That's almost 365. Oh my gosh. You could just wow. scroll for ages. You could just thing. scroll for ages. Basically, we wanna walk you guys through just what's our thought process when we're coming up with ideas, when we're uploading, how things have changed over the last year in terms of um, what works and what doesn't, and the lessons we've learned. What is your thought process when it comes to like coming up with an idea for TikTok? How do we, how would mm. you say we go about our creative process there? I think that we, at one point, tried to hone in on what do we have that other people don't have? And mm -hmm. if you're thinking about making content, it, it's probably beneficial for you to go through something similar. And we came up with the fact that we are two friends. Yep. We've got that. Yep. So in any video, we should probably be using that to our advantage. Yep. We can both sing. Um, and we found that people responded to us being happy. We're all in this together. Andy shows when we stand hand in hand, make our dreams come true. Yeah, so when we come up with ideas, we like to stick to those like pillars, if you will. Yeah. Those are the pillars of Kellen and Kevin. <laughs> Happiness and singing. <laughs> it could be worse though. And it could be worse. We've talked a lot about like, we'll do prank TikToks and those are great. And we're almost lucky that they didn't do like amazingly well. Right, we might've shifted away from singing. And then I would just killer. be constantly getting hit by snowballs, <laughs> which would not be You would be just my... be the, the butt of the prank the, the entire boy. thing. Well, then we transitioned into the Golden Retriever era, which has been a whole different TikTok that's killer. A big, that's a big renaissance. I mean, it's been a renaissance. You'll notice the same things, where it's like two friends having fun, and it's mm -hmm. you being happy. There's no it's singing. Joy. Yeah, it's joyousness, yeah. yeah. We need to combine the singing and the, the Golden Retriever, and then we're really yeah. in a new world. So what are some specific tips that you've come up with going through this process as we upload things like what do you think about it? are you thinking about hashtags are you thinking about words that go with it are you thinking about length of video what are some of the things that you think you're you're looking at yeah something that we've I think agreed on is that it needs to grab you pretty much from the get-go right if, if if frame one and the first thing that happened doesn't keep your attention, you won't even think about it, you'll just move on. You're way too beautiful, girl. That's why it'll never work. You'll have me suicidal. When I have friends who ask me like, oh, I kind of want to make TikToks, what do I do? A big thing that I say is like, try using text on screen. That really changed the way that our content got pushed out. And I think gave us a lot more longevity. My understanding of the science behind it is this. Human attention span now is really short, like you're saying, it's a fraction of a second. So what also is in the nature of the human mind is like when you see text, you wanna read it, you wanna see what it says. So that fraction of a second can be prolonged by putting text on your video, right? So then yeah. someone sees it and rather than just seeing something that, that doesn't appeal to them and swiping off, they see the text and they want to read it. So it buys you at least another second or two of them watching everything else and listening to everything else. Yeah. So, so there's like a, a science behind it. it totally. And we're not scientists. Or are we? Something that's very interesting is, you know, the video of, there's one of me and there's one of you, I think we've done it twice now, saying, read the name of the sound, right? Yes, and it, yes, yes, yes. it kind of deploys slowly. So you're waiting for it. It comes on the beat. And then when you read the name of the sound, which usually is like halfway done, so you have to re wait for it to re-scroll, right. um, it says, like, share this 
video or something, or right? Or right. press the share three times. So that's like play on getting people to look at different things yeah. on the screen and stay longer. It's a weird hack, but it, it <clears throat> seemingly does work. Yeah. I mean, this is all also dependent on the fact that we have a relatively good following and a couple of things that we do do consistently, I think, pretty well. If we just had never made videos and we're doing that, it's hard to say if that would have worked. Right. right. One of the other keys is, and this will tie to that, is watch time is so critically important. And that's the case on most video platforms. So on mm. YouTube, it's the same way. Like you want a lot of watch time. You want people watching your video for five plus minutes, not just 30 seconds. On TikTok, it's obviously shorter videos. So it's more about like, you know, <clears throat> watch time being duplicate watches of a video. So if a video is 10 seconds, and your watch time's 20 seconds on average, that means people are watching it twice, right? So mm -hmm. it's, all, it's all about people watching it more and more. And so by doing these kind of words on screen where people have to catch something or read something, it makes them sort of, if they missed it, watch it back a second time so they can catch it. And so you're building that watch time. It's, it's a little bit of a hack, but it seems like it works. And when it's done in conjunction with a, an actually funny or impressive or talented video, those two can can mean, you know, pure viral. If you wanna get good on TikTok, another thing to, to do, and this is just a quick aside, is watch TikTok and see what works and see if you can play off of someone else's trends to make it even more exciting or new. And that's just another quick tip that we do a lot of because it's constantly changing what is doing well. Do you think it's true that TikTok will promote videos more that are using features that are exclusive to TikTok? I've heard a lot of that, and um, it's really hard to know. It's really hard to know. We do pretty much all of our filming in the app, um, and we've found that that has worked well. When we do things outside of the app or with a different camera and edit them and bring them in, they tend to not do as well, but we don't have a big enough pool of Yeah, it's a limited sample yeah. size, I guess. It's really hard to know. I think that um, that would make sense, but I have no... Mm -hmm. notion of whether it actually makes a difference. Where would you like to see the TikTok go as far as just just our videos? Um, what I really want, I think hitting a million on TikTok was like a huge goal, right? We, we never foresaw that happening. Felt impossible. Then we did and it, it felt like a really good hurdle and I like what we're doing with TikTok. It doesn't need to, at this point, blow up anymore for me. Like mm -hmm. that, that would be great. And obviously that's our, our goal is to always have it do better and better. What I want to see now is that we can leverage this following into other social medias and sort of build our brand that way. So like our YouTube is, is very quickly approaching 100,000 subscribers, which has been a dream of mine since I was like, since YouTube came out, right? To get 100,000 subscribers. I think it'll get so there. cool. I, mean, I think it will. I, I hope it does. And then there's our Instagram, which is growing really well too. So I kind of mm -hmm. want to bring them all up and be able to produce good content on each platform. And in doing that, be able to promote our original music, which I think is like one of my big goals is to have like some original music that really gets a stranglehold and people really like it and we get some recognition for that. Yeah, that'd be great. I mean, to level up the original music, I think would mm -hmm. be amazing. Um, and I think we can use those platforms to do that. So that's yeah. kind of my hope there. Uh, yeah, what I'd love to see would just be like for us getting back a little bit to the community engagement. Oh yeah. But I think sure. we were doing really well. Commenting, talking to you guys, answering DMs, uh, going live on TikTok is something I miss because that is yeah. a lot of fun. Going on Instagram live. Uh, would be live fun on Instagram. Then. Any any of that stuff. We want to do more than that. We've definitely fallen off. So there there's a lot of new fans here, but a lot of uh, the OGs who've been with us since the beginning. We want to get back to that and I think we will. We just need to uh, make sure we're carving out the time. Yeah. And, you know, we want to be doing that when we're not bone tired. Not, not tired, yet. <laughs> oh, we'll sing a Disney song. <laughs> oh, what is that, Kevin? Well, Kellen, I've ordered a delicious dinner from Chipotle. Chipotle. Can I show you something else I got? Yeah. What, what is this? this? But I got a little jacket here. That is incredible. The classic Ryan Gosling and Drive. Yeah, that's, yeah. It's amazing. Evil can evil. <laughs> we can do a fake drive where you're like, <laughs> Well, thank you guys for listening to our discussion. Yeah. I hope it helped a little bit with some of the ideas behind how we make TikToks and how it can help you guys making your own. If you have any questions, throw them in the comments and we'll try to answer as best we can. Stay tuned for more of these vlogs. Things, as the weather gets nicer, I think things are gonna get a little bit more exciting. We'll be cooped up in the house oh and we God. can uh, 
We can try to go on some adventures. Yeah, we're appearing on a couple of uh, podcasts yep. coming up. So Stay we'll let you guys that. know about that. Stay tuned for that. Otherwise, uh, get ready because the summer uh, summer tunes are going to hit big. So uh, stay tuned for that. Boys are going to get tan. <laughs> Bronze got. Doesn't happen to me. <laughs> what? I don't tan. Do you burn? Oh, yeah. Oh, poor guy. Yeah, it's not good. All right, guys. Go ahead and like the video. Subscribe for more content. It's coming soon. We'll catch you in the next one. Thank you.